<laughs> and I don't know why it's making that noise. Maybe somebody can tell me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with Spackman, the channel that brings you DIY gear, backpack adventures, camping adventures, and all around outdoor adventures. Today I have a massive unboxing and setup video. I have the 3F UL hot tent teepee setup and their stainless steel wood stove for their hot tents. And I also have a nature hike camping cot. I am taking this stuff out this weekend, so today I'm unboxing it and setting it up. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. First, I want to open up the nature hike folding camp cot. Right off the bat, I really like this bag. It's got Molly webbing on one side, a nice handle on this side. And I never really know what these things are for, but I think it's a handle. This can be set up in two configurations, low to the ground, not so low to the ground. So out of the box, out of the bag, we have the two main side supports. These look like the small legs. Nope, I have that backwards. These might be the bigger legs, and these look like the small legs. Next, I want to do the hot tent. It's got this really nice bag. I actually, I really like this bag. The buckles that go around, and buckles on the end. Both ends? Yeah, but that one wasn't buckled. It's like a dry bag. So it looks like we stake out the corners, and then put the pole up. Done. We'll see how easy that is later. This was inside the bag. And this is the stove jack. And it's got a stove jack sleeve that the pipe goes through. I'm not gonna lie, this feels really crappy. Really thin. But we'll put it to the test and see how it holds up. Now this is the tent with the pole right here. So I'm actually not gonna open this up right now, but we'll see in a minute when we get outside. Along with the tent came this bag, filled with these massive stakes. It's massive, very heavy. It also came with a couple of these. Not sure what they're for. As well as this. One end has a loop, it's pretty long. The other end does not. Don't know what that's for either. Along with all that stuff, it has this, which is a template for putting the stakes out in the corners. All right, let's get to that stove. You know how much I like stoves, right? Now this is cool, this is a stainless steel stove. There's this little pocket right here. Ooh, spark arrestor and wing nuts. And it looks like these are the stove pipe rings. More directions. So we have the stove pipe here, which is a rolled piece of stainless steel. Oh, here's the stove dampener. Looks like some stove rings there too, stove pipe rings. Whoa, what's this? Oh, oh, this is the bottom of the stove body. That was inside of here. Cool, cool, cool. We have the stove body. And this thing, which looks like a wind-up car key. We'll find out what that's for. Not sure yet. And look at this stove body. This is wicked cool. There's the chimney port. Here's the door. Oh, it's got the glass door. It's got the glass door. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Oh, man. You know how much I like stoves, right? Look at that. That's beautiful. That is very easy to move. Ooh, it's got a spring right here to keep the tension on there. So that even if it comes loose, it's still tight. The doorknob has one too. This part here is where the stove body inserts into. Oh, you know what? I bet you this hole is for that. It's for this, for this key. Let's see what else is in here. The stove back, two legs. It's got four legs, but two leg supports. Not sure what this is, but that feels like plastic or really, really thin metal. And then the stove top. I like it. I like it a lot. 
So nice. All right, let's get outside. I see. Right here, we have measurement marks. And that must be the top pole there with a little lanyard to hit a lantern. Very nice. <laughs> this is big. You know what, maybe I should read the directions. So, remember that, that long piece of fabric with one loop on the end? That's used for the position of the stakes. I need to go get all that stuff. I'll be right back. First, you wanna take your template Stick it in the middle of where your tent's gonna be. How do cords and ropes just tie themselves inside of a bag? That makes no sense. I didn't tie that. Whoever tied it did a good job. They must have been a boy scout. <laughs> there we go. So you take your loop and you put it around your first stake. And now you have your circumference of the tent. This thing is massive. Okay, this is in my way. Which means this is in my way. So now each, each one of the slits in the template is where your stake goes. I guess we'll adjust when we, if we need to. That's it. Now, I'm pretty sure I read, open the door when you're setting it up. And right at the top is this pocket. Stick the tip. The end of your bowl, end of your pole. Uh. That was a really easy setup, but none of it's really tight. So let's see if I tighten up each one of these, if it gets better. <laughs> yeah, that worked. I also figured out what these extra things are. The guy out points for each one of the stakes. They sent you two extra ones of these. That's cool. They clip onto it really easy. Quick connection right here. You just slip that back over and it's connected. And that goes to the tent. And that goes to your stake. All right, now I'm gonna set up the cot. Wow, that was easy. It's like it put itself together. Now, that might have looked like it was easy and fast to do because of movie magic, but it wasn't. Oh, this is perfect. I thought it might have been too high for the teepee tent with the sloped walls. This is going to be perfect. You know what time it is now? Stove time! One thing I forgot to mention, they sent with the stove a pair of, uh, pair of fire resistant gloves. I'll put those to the test. Another thing I discovered, the small pipe, the small rolled foil, is the stove pipe. The bigger one is the body of the stove. When working with this sheet metal, it's a good idea to wear a good pair of gloves. This is very sharp. Preferably before you start, not after. Do as I say, not as I do. Forget about the gloves. I'll put those on when I need them. And I'll put a band-aid on when I need that. <laughs> now it says we need some of these winged bolts. And they screw into here. And on the back side. Now our legs go on the bottom like a so. And then our wind-up key. Whoops. And now we need a wing nut to attach to the front here. And now we wind it up. Perhaps not that tight. I wound it too much and dented it right here. Oh, like new. Now for the flu. 
you just pop it in and turn it in place. I probably want this in the back. It doesn't actually say where the spark arrestor goes, and I doubt it's right here. It might be right here, but I bet you it goes at the top. Let's get the stove pipe together. This should be interesting. They show two people doing it, but I'm only one man. This is the first setup of the stove pipe. First time is always the hardest, and then once you burn it, it kind of takes its shape. I really want to use those gloves, but I just don't think I should. Looks like I'm getting a band-aid. <laughs> Why do I do stuff like this? All right, two gloves. It's like a metal paper cut. See that? It just cut a hole right through this tarp. I'm not gonna lie. This is fucking hard. <laughs> no! Man, I thought I had it there for a second. Oh boy, this is it. This is it. Don't screw up now, man. Oh no. All right. I need a ring down here. Holy crap, there she is. Oh, that was a pain in the butt. Let me see how long that took me. That took 23 minutes. I have the spark arrestor in place and the chimney cover. See, so now it's all the way on and now you can push this down and that supports it to the stove. Got a couple pieces of fat wood I'm gonna use to start this fire. Now, if you were setting this tent and stove up or any stove or tent up for the first time and you plan on staying in the tent, do not do the initial burn inside of the tent that you're staying in. I won't be using this tent and stove until tomorrow, so I'm doing the initial burn in it tonight here. Something just fell in there. Hopefully it was just some wood. Testing it out in the yard before taking it out in the field. So I don't care that I'm doing my initial burn in the tent. Let me show you what I did though. So the teepee tent has two doors, one over there and one right here. I opened up both doors, give it nice ventilation right through, get rid of the fumes that are gonna get kicked off from this. It's already changing color. Ooh, <laughs> exciting. 
Oh, look. The smoke virtually stopped, too. Got some nice flamage going on in there. Guess you can see it right there. Oh, sounds like Lilo's home. Be right back. I am really glad I just noticed this. Started melting already. Can you see the the dip right the dip right here? It's kind of dipping down, it's getting warped already. I mean, I do not have a big fire in here. And I don't know why it's making that noise. Maybe somebody can tell me. Maybe this needs to be opened up more. But the problem is that's freaking tight now that it's hot. I can't move the freaking thing. Look at the color. That's all my oils, I think, for my hands. Even the stove pipe has it. That was my bad there. So be careful if you do this, make sure that's not touching there. It even started melting the, the stove jack, which it should not. I think that's even like silicone that came off of it onto the pipe. That should not happen. Up here, up here it got hot. It's meant to touch it. Like that's not something I did. That's something this did. I don't have this roaring. You saw the little pieces of wood I put in there. It's tiny. I mean, it does have a nice fire. Let's close this damper. There we go. Close that down. I think that's gonna just about do it for this unboxing and setup, initial setup video. Tomorrow, I am taking it out into the woods. Me and Jay are going out for a hot tent night. Yeah, something like that. So thanks for joining me for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. Learn from my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. I'll catch you on the next one.